Hello everyone. This is a quick update on stroke font extensions. The standard Hershey fonts have been ported to the stroke font extension format. This means that you can use the new render text extension features with the Hershey fonts. For example, flow text in selected box or render text from a file and text alignment as well as the multi-line text are all available with the Hershey fonts as well. Secondly, these extensions now include a new tool for editing stroke fonts. If you want to edit an existing font, you can select it in this dialog, specify the number of rows and font size. And when you say apply, you will get all the glyphs of that particular stroke font which you selected in the current SVG. And then you can edit these glyphs. The IDs of the glyphs have already been set. So if you are changing just the path of a particular glyph, then you don't need to do anything else. But if you want to add a new glyph to the font, then you can either use the create font design template and append to the existing font, or you can change an existing glyph and give it a new ID, which is the character related to that glyph and generate the font data. While generating the font data, you need to give the exact font name. Maybe you can copy the file name from the stroke font data folder and paste it here and always use the vertical guide bounding box option for write offset. And if you want to retain the existing copyright info, leave this field blank. And now if you say apply, this character will be available for rendering next time. If you come across any issues or defects, please leave a comment on this video. Thank you very much.